hello guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be changing the um cabin air filter in my um this is a 2012 honda um, crv and i don't know why i'm recording this but maybe it'll help someone but um this is how you do this is the filter here that i have I picked this up at Walmart for like twenty dollars, and this is how you're gonna put it in. You're gonna, you're gonna open this up, and you're gonna take this little part right here and push it back like that. Then you're gonna take these two sides right here, and you're gonna squeeze them together. You're gonna squeeze them together like this. But obviously, I'm holding the camera. I can't do it, so I'm just gonna put the camera down for a second and squeeze the two sides in and pull it down. All right, now I got it down. You see this little part right here? It has two clips on the side. It has two clips on the side, and you're gonna squeeze both of those clips together at the same time. But I'm holding the camera in one hand, so I have to use one hand, all right? Now you see this part right here? This is the filter. All right, this one is very dirty. We're gonna pull this out. See how dirty this one is so now i'm going to put the new one in and also this will be the number to look for right here sometimes this these letters right here change but this is the number to look for if you're getting one from walmart this is the new filter right here it's all clean okay so you're going to take your new filter and see those arrows it says airflow you want to make sure those arrows are pointing down and not and not turn this way so you want to take that soft side. So you got two hard sides here and you, have, and you have two soft sides. You want to take the soft side and place it in the front. And you want to slide that on in, get it on in there. All right, we got it in. So now you're going to do is clip this little black piece back in like that make sure you hear it click and you're gonna push this back up like that and you're gonna come back over here with this little part and you want to pull it down and pull it behind that little piece here and you want to clip it just like that and you're all done hey y'all we finished going to Piggly Wiggly grab a couple of things I'm gonna cook tonight. You need a buggy. I need a basket. Go get my basket. All right, let's see what we're gonna get. I kind of want some broccoli. I think. Do we have any broccoli at home? I don't think we're gonna get anything out of there. Yeah, the cake is do look good, don't it? The strawberry? How much is it? I don't know. Huh? Y'all, let me get me some of the oranges. I had one the other day and it was so good. I'm gonna get me a couple of the oranges. I want some sauerkraut. Put a sauerkraut in. Huh? Sauerkraut. Yeah, look at all those good um, produce. Vegetables. And I think they're locally grown. That's the best thing about these country gro grocery stores. You get the local produce. They got my sauerkraut. I don't know which one I want. Let's see. I usually buy the organic kind. They don't have any in here. I have to go to Publix to get that or 
Whole Foods. Walmart may have some, but I'm not going all the way to Walmart. So I'm going to get this one. This one right here, the cheapest one. Alright guys, we're going to have pasta tonight. We're going to be using these um, penne pasta instead of the spaghetti kind. And I'm going to cut an onion up to put in my ground beef. It's just one of those quick meals, just, you know, throw, that you can throw together real fast. And everybody in the, and everybody in the home enjoys it, so. So I'm going to cut these up. And I got to season, season my um, beef, which I'm not going to put, you know, which I don't have a special seasoning anyways. I'm just going to dump some over in it. And I don't have a special way of cutting my onions. I just cut them up and put them in there. You know, it don't have to be all fancy and pretty for me. I'm going to go ahead and put those onions in. Now I'm just going to go in with my seasoning. because these bottle waters and it's not gonna get it I've been cooking with the bottle waters and I'm using a lot of a lot of them and I had a filter but um, it didn't the filter was kind of expensive and it didn't um, last very long so I'm in the process of looking for another one This is what my meat looking like so far. It's looking really good, y'all. Smells good in here too. All right, y'all. This is what my plate looking like. I got some salad here. I'm finished with the pasta. Turned out real nice. And I got some sauerkraut. Um, and I got some cherries for dessert. And this is the sauce that I used. This is the first time I'm trying this. So I hope it's good.